How are we doing? My name is Officer Harris. Today is a pack night where we bring in all of our officers and we all go out and hit the properties kind of in full force. And we do that about once every two weeks. We're going to stay on the south side and go do some patrols on some of our properties. And if we get an alarm response call, maybe we'll take care of one of those as well. We just got to our first stop here. What we look for on property is we make sure that the gates are working. We make sure that everything's secure. There's no uh, cars with broken windows. Uh, there's nobody on property fighting or causing any disturbances. And, uh, you know, we'll also look out and see if any lights are missing, anything's broken. Um, but for the most part, we're here to protect the community and make sure there's nothing bad going on while we're on property. Last property, safe and sound. We're now off to number two. Having a patrol car in the communities that we protect, the residents really feel safe. Um, you know, not just having someone on property static for a certain period of time where you know, hey, this guard is on here from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. We're gonna commit a crime at 2.30 a.m. Uh, coming on property at random times in our patrol cars, dressed the way that we're dressed. Uh, you never know when we're gonna be there. And I think it makes the residents of the community that we protect uh, feel safer knowing that we're there um, for them. You know, we're, we're there not only to look out for the things on property, but we're more so there to protect them and their belongings, their property. Our main responsibility is to protect the residents. Uh, we help out the general managers and the owners of the property, make sure no vandalism happens. You know, we're not there to arrest or get anybody in trouble. We're there to keep crime off the property, uh, keep people off the property from coming and injuring the residents, physically harming, vandalizing, stealing from them, and the drugs as well. You know, trying to keep those bad elements off the property is uh, responsibility numero uno. So we just got the property oh, too. It's Friday night. Yeah, Lots of kids coming. out. Football game across the street. Uh, this is one of the more active properties. Um, a lot of residents like to sure, come outside. Lots of kids. Very busy property for us. Be advised. You have uh, miners hopping the fence over there. Parts of the fence is broken off. For so the football game. Likely they're crisscrossing over that property over there. We're just going down that fence on the other side. Okay. All right. Copy that. That was another one of our officers. Um, to refrain from the name, he's Noble 08. We use our Noble numbers on the radio so we don't give out our, our real names. But he was just telling us that we got some kids jumping the fences, probably coming from the football game. They don't like to walk around the complexes, so they'll just walk through one, hop the fence, and jump into another one. But doing that, they destroy the fences and uh, cost the property some money. Yeah, this property is kind of cool. We actually have a lot of kids on the property, so when we show up in the daytime when they're not in school, like in the summer, they would uh, get on their bikes and they would follow us around and they'd do patrol with us on property. So we made some stickers with the badges on oh, for Unity copy. 1 and we'd give them out to the kids so they would be uh, on their Unity copy. 1 members. And uh, it's pretty cool because they, oh, they know everything that's going on on the properties. <clears throat> Our main goal on the properties is to befriend the residents. You know, we're not here to just sticker cars and, you know, make them do things and tell them to turn their music down. We're actually here to build that relationship so they feel comfortable with us so that if something goes on or there's something wrong on property or there's a resident doing something he shouldn't be doing, they feel comfortable to call us. And uh, we do that with every property that we protect. The fun thing about this job is actually interacting with the people on the properties you never know what you're gonna get. You got all walks of life, all cultures, languages. You know, the kids are great. Um, sometimes you can go around all day and nothing will actually happen. But actually getting out of the car, I've had people invite me in for lunch, dinner, breakfast, family parties. I mean, it's, uh, it's really cool once you can get on here and um, really become a part of these properties. You know, it's not just a job where you're like, oh, here I am, I'm on, I'm off. No, we actually like, come on property and I'll go to specific apartments and see certain people and uh, kind of makes the time fly by a lot faster. Definitely makes the job a lot more fun. I'll be here for another 20 minutes and um, I'll follow in after you. Okay. All right. Yes, sir.
All right. Right now we just finished property two. Uh, we're headed down through Las Vegas to go to the next property, number three. Yeah, we get asked a lot when we're on properties uh, for the police and we're not. We, we don't portray that at all. We're there to enforce the rules and regulations of the uh, properties, the apartment complexes and the homeowners associations, uh, as well as deter crime and uh, protect our residents. So we're there as a buffer to keep things off property and as well to help uh, with parking regulations and pool hours and certain things that the properties want enforced in order to protect the residents uh, for their safety. O2 copy. Gentlemen, we've now arrived at property oh, three. Copy. Yeah, some of the areas we have uh, vagrants come in, we gotta make sure to keep them off property. But they like to come in and look through the trash cans and uh, when it gets cold, sometimes they like to bed down at night because it blocks the wind and keeps them warm. Yeah, right now we're just going to go check on the uh, the bathrooms and the pool, make sure it's locked up. It's 10 o'clock, so this pool should be shut down, and there should be nobody in here uh, working, messing around with the clubhouse. So we just finished with our third property. All's clear, we're moving on to number four. So here it is Friday, it's fairly quiet. We haven't had many dispatch calls. And uh, to some they might think that uh, we're not doing our job. But actually that, that's a good thing. That means that we're effective on property. Uh, we are doing our job, our guys are out there, they're being seen, and the properties are quiet. That means bad things aren't happening. It means everybody's happy. For a Friday night, makes for a good one. So we just arrived on property four. Uh, this is one of our larger properties. One of the things that we do for the properties is look out for cars that don't have registration or flat tires. They don't want vehicles sitting. So if someone can just come and park their car and leave it there, um, it can deter from the beauty, beauty of the property. And also a lot of people, they don't want them to just bring random cars on here and store them on property. So our guys are pretty good at uh, picking out which cars have been here for days or weeks. And we just alert the property managers and let them know if they want to get them towed off property. We're leaving property four. It's been a pretty quiet night. It's not so much a bad thing, but we're moving on to the next one. Uh, we're just arriving on property five. Make sure we got the pools closed down and everything is uh, safe and quiet. Well, that's the fun thing about the summertime. Usually people are uh, you know, out barbecuing and you get a lot of noise, noise complaints. Everything's safe and secure. We're on to property number six. We are at the last property. It's been a safe and quiet night. Everybody's going home tonight. So normally we just drive through the properties and just listen, see if we can hear anything going on. Loud noises, parties. To make sure that uh, all the lights are working, no cars are damaged or been broken into. And you'd be surprised, sometimes we get wild coyotes on property. Property is secure. On to the next one. Here we are on property. And take a quick run through the property and then uh, make sure this pool is shut down 12 o'clock. Right now we're just walking through the property to do a walkthrough is what's, what we do on some properties. This one in particular we actually are locking up the pool uh, at night which will reopen again in the morning. We're going to go around one more time, post up at the front, take care of some reports and call it a night. It's Friday night. It's been a quiet night. But that's due to Unity One's ability to deter, protect, and serve. Signing off. See you guys next time.